Hey guys, um, <laughs> let me. Oof. I'm um, not with you right now. Hi, YouTube friends. Welcome to today's video and welcome to my bathroom. Today I thought I would take you through my five to seven minute everyday makeup routine. And I'm actually really excited because I think I've kind of nailed this look. Just a disclaimer, I went for a quick workout and so I have a little bit of makeup on it, but it's not what you think. So I have this highlighter, or I'm sorry, blush bronzer on, but I wear it when I work out because it has SPF in it and it's awesome. So anyway, I use a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I use a total of eight products for my everyday makeup routine look. And I'm actually really excited because Merit sent me some of their new products to try. I just got the most exciting package from Merit, which is a clean beauty brand and their whole ethos is less is more. And um, their packaging is stunning, first of all. These are their products. Blush. Anyway, but I also have a few other products that I love to use because they work extra hard. So anyway, like I was saying, I already have a little bit of blush on, a little bit of powder on because again, this powder is from Color Science and it has SPF 50 in it. I, I will take you through the entire routine and I will also link everything down below. Um, but before we get into actually applying makeup, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the little bell notification so that you will be alerted anytime I upload a new video. That being said, let's get into it. I know my channel's kind of all over the place. You probably found me through my apartment tour, but you know what? This is a lifestyle channel and makeup is a part of my life. So hopefully this type of video interests you because I dig it. Just FYI, I already have like my skincare routine on. I washed my face, I applied my serum, my moisturizer and SPF this morning before my workout and I didn't sweat that much. So I still feel like it's still on there. Now I just want to get ready for my day. I have a meeting in 30 minutes, which will be will not be a problem because this is a super quick makeup routine. I also am grabbing lunch with my coworker after our meeting, so I wanna look a little bit more put together. So I might apply just a little bit more. Also, um, I have my Lashify lashes on, so that's also, I think, why my makeup is so minimal and easy. I am going to start with concealer. It's actually a foundation stick and it's from Merit in the shade Bisque. It's the Perfecting Complexion Stick and this stuff, it's really trying to focus on me, eh? This stuff blends really nicely. I'm going to look at my mirror because I'm not one of those people who can apply makeup in the viewfinder. So what I will usually do, this is awkward, is apply where there's the most darkness for me. And that's usually in the inner and outer corners of my eyes. Just a very light amount. And then any spots that I want to conceal, like I have, I had an old breakout here. And then little, little dabs where there's discoloration, some of my freckles, easy peasy. And yeah, I actually don't even use anything but my fingers. So I'll just use my ring finger to blend. It's the most gentle. <laughs> so blend, 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 blend. And just Look at how much of a difference that already made. Cool. Okay, so concealer's done. Next up, I will go in and reapply my 
Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Color Balm. And it, again, like I mentioned, it has broad spectrum SPF. And this is what the color looks like. It's a nice, pretty, sheen, like bronzy color. And I will literally just go in and paint my cheeks with it. Kind of like um, war paint. But I like it because as you can see, kind of, this is where I tend to get freckles from sun damage and um, I just feel like having a little bit of a little extra SPF on the points of my face that freckle the most could not hurt. Also, it's a pretty color on my skin tone. So again, I'm just blending with my fingers. Little touches. I also put some on my nose because I think a little blushed nose is very cute. And I think you'll see with my um, makeup application, I'm a little obsessed with blush. Next up is this Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush. And this stuff has a very cool effect on your skin. It's supposed to plump your skin up and it just feels very tingly and kind of refreshing, which I dig. So I just kind of dot that on, again with the nose, and again just blend it in. I think that flushed cheeks, flushed looking cheeks, is the key to looking very fresh faced and um, young, <laughs> which I am 31, y'all. Gotta fake youth where you can, right? So, <laughs> if you thought that we were done with blush, we're not. <laughs> now, I love this bl Merit blush. It's in the shade Mood, and it's just such a beautiful, natural hint of blush. And if you, if you can tell, like, each of these are different shades. That's why I like to layer them together. So I will go ahead and I just tap the tap this blush like on the highest points of my cheekbones. I don't like to put blush like right in the middle of my cheeks and the apples of my cheeks because then I think that just draws way too much attention to those points. The highest point of your cheekbone. Tap, tap, tap. Blend, blend, blend. And then I, like, whatever's left over on my fingers, I'll just tap onto the high points of my face, wherever the sun would naturally hit. So, sometimes, sometimes I go a little overboard and I have to wipe off, but for the most part, all good. And then, I'm a little torn with this product because my skin veers towards oily and this product is oil based. So it's called the Highlighting Balm in the shade Bounce and it's a beautiful product. However, sometimes it can get a little oily for me. So what, what I tend to do, which helps but still stimulates a lot of oil production in me, is I will highlight and it blends just so beautifully so it just feels like kind of like an oil moisturizing balm but I'll just highlight where it needs to go and you can kind of see it just brings a little shimmer on the bridge of my nose and over my upper lip okay and uh, I'll rub my fingers so there's not too much blush but literally just have it blend and you can see it just gives you the most beautiful dewy finish when I first apply it, it feels beautiful, but then as the day goes on, I tend to get really oily and it just makes me feel like a grease bomb, which not a huge fan of, but I deal with it because, I don't know, it just, it's so beautiful when you first apply it. So to combat the oiliness, I will highlight and then powder, which 
absorb some of the extra oil. So this is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Brush on Shield SPF 50 and tap it to get the powder flowing and then pull that and the brush is there. And so you're just supposed to do small circles and again it has SPF which I need and love. You should all be wearing sunblock. And then the last step is brows. This brow gel is from Merit and it's tinted. It's called the Volumizing Pomade in shade brown. And I will literally just swipe through my brows. Super easy, super natural. I am a huge fan of this brow pomade. I was trying to do the soap brows for a while and then I saw a picture of myself with the soap brows and I literally just looked like a caveman. Like I looked unkept. Oh, and then the last, last step. Ooh, I actually have two shades that I really like and it depends on my mood, but this one matches my shirt. And this one, if, I'll actually put them both on for you so you can see. And I'll put this one on first because I'm probably gonna wipe it off. But it's as pretty for, like if you have a night out and you just want a flush of color, it's pretty. So this is the Tinted Lip Oil from Merit. Freaking gorgeous. And it's in the shade Sangria. And it just feels so light. It doesn't feel oily. And you can see it's just a very light wash of color. But it makes my lips so, 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 so soft. But I think the shade that I'm going to wear today is all natural because look, it matches my shirt. It matches my blush. Like, And for my day-to-day -day look, I always just go with a very natural lip. That was my everyday makeup routine, literally every day. This is what I do. These seven products are, are what I've been using for the past few weeks. And I'm like truly loving this routine. Um, and I feel very protected because of the sun protection and I just feel like the Merit products are so easy to use, very uncomplicated and um, great coverage. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna... Okay, so my DSLR died and I didn't have time to charge it before the meeting, but I did want to show you the finished makeup look um, in natural lighting and with a cute background. Mila is thriving. Can we take a moment and look at these new leaves that are sprouting? Look at that. Anyway, focus Sam. I added a little bit of an a winged liner just to dress it up because I am getting lunch with my coworker and I haven't seen people and actually that's a lie. I see people all the time, but I haven't seen this coworker in about a year. So thought I would look cute for our little lunch date. If you have any specific questions on any of the products that I use, comment down below. I will try my best to answer them for you. And I was also thinking about filming an updated morning skincare routine. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.